all right guys welcome back to the second update on what is now typhoon malakas which is rapidly intensifying as of now reached typhoon status expected to rapidly um intensify to around 115 miles per hour now um as you can see on the satellite imagery um it is looking very good with that convection there and it has a it looks really organized actually um we could be seeing an eye pop out soon Currently with winds of 75 miles per hour, that is 65 knots, a pressure of 978 millibars and it is moving north at 6 miles per hour as of this latest update brought to you by Curtis Simplified. So take a look at the JTWC forecast cone, um, let's see right now they have it at around 60 knots expecting it to rapidly intensify all the way up to 105 knots which equates to 120 miles per hour which would be a mid to high range category 3 typhoon and then rapidly weakening affecting some of the japanese islands there near ogisara actually um before them turning extra tropical um most likely um yeah right now the storm is west of guam um and is expected to continue intensifying here is the shortwave IR imagery and you can just see how well this storm is looking. This storm is reminding me a little bit of Typhoon Nyoto from 2021 when that started to um, intensify. Um, when that became a category 1 typhoon it sort of reminded me of that. And I cannot describe how big this storm is. This storm is ginormous. Of course we have the other tropical storm which hit the Philippines, uh, Meggie, or Meji, I'm not sure how you say it, but um, yeah, you can see the really good cloud tops in the middle, um, looks like it needs some more convection over the western side um, to fully cover that centre uh, up more there, but if it covers that up then we could be looking at a very strong storm. Take a look at the true colour zoom that imagery and you can just see how big this storm is, this storm is massive. Um, and we're looking at some of the models as well, and they're expecting a Category 2, JTWC expecting Category 3, I'm expecting Category 3 around 115 miles per hour from this system. However, um, I was originally thinking that the storm was going to intensify a bit faster. Um, it has been really gradually intensifying, it has been intensifying extremely slowly um, over the past few days, but you can see it's certainly getting its act together now. Um, and you can see it is going to be a threat for some of the Japanese islands. Um, just, it is a massive storm. It is ginormous. Um, and yeah, those cloud tops, especially on the southern area, um, those cloud tops are really good. Like, really good cloud tops. Taking a look at the water vapor imagery now. Um, and you can see that the storm is having a party in that um, dry air. Um, the moisturizing air um, not good for the storm really um, as you can see there is a lot of air up there a lot of dry air um, right now the storm seems to be doing it's doing okay um, could be doing better um, but it is forecasted to intensify it only has a few hours to do so probably around 24 to 48 hours to do that rapid intensification phase maybe a bit longer than that Anyway, thank you for watching this update on Typhoon Malakas. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next update. Peace out.